a quick uh, day 74 video here for the weekend. Um, I've been talking about this in class. I wanted to just get in a video to make sure everybody's got it down. Um, it's about integrating a rate. So when you integrate a rate that something is occurring at, right, it's always going to have a unit of, you know, so, some kind of unit per minute or per second or per hour. So when we integrate that rate, that just gives the total amount of whatever that is over that time period that the limits of integration are. So for example here, I said water fills a tank at a rate of R of T in liters per minute, but water is also draining from the same tank at a rate of D of T in liters per minute, all between a time range of zero and 20 minutes. So I want to talk about what the integrals mean here. Now, what if I wanted to know how much water was added to the how much water was added to the tank in the first 20 minutes, right? From 0 to 20. Well, that would I could find that by integrating r. That would tell me how much water was added to the tank. What would the integral of d tell us? Well, that would tell us the total amount of water that had drained from the tank in 20 minutes. So, here's what we Sometimes they like to do it like this on the on the AP exam. They'll explain. They'll say, explain the meaning of integral zero to twenty of r of t dt using correct units. context of the problem. Okay, so we just want to, sometimes you're asked to not only calculate these kind of things, but explain the meanings of them. Um, so what, what I would say here is, you know, my answer would be the integral from 0 to 20 of r of t dt. Since r was the rate that water was filling the tank, this would be the total, this integral would be, right, the integral of a rate is an amount. It's the total amount it's the total amount of water added to the tank. Okay, so first off we need to know that that's the total amount of water added to the tank. But I also want to say what the unit would be. <clears throat> and I also need to, you need to always talk about these two things. Right? So it's the total amount of water added to the tank in, right, if we integrate liters per minute and our time unit is minutes, Right, we know from our Riemann sums we're doing liters per minute times minute. That cancels out the minutes, so it would be in liters, right? That's how you'd measure it. So it'd be the total amount of water added to the tank in liters from t equals zero to t equals 20 minutes. Now, if I would have said, if I would have written the integral from zero to 10, then I would say it's the total amount of water added to the tank in liters in the first 10 minutes, or from zero, t equals zero to t equals 20, 10 minutes, okay? How about this one? What would be the meaning of, same question, but instead of integrating r of t, we want to integrate d of t. Well, that would tell us, if everything else was the same, that would tell us the total amount of water that has drained from the tank in liters from zero to 20 minutes. But I have one more question for you that I want you to think about. Explain the meaning of using correct units in the context of the problem.
what if we saw this? Well, it's just like the question I asked, except I had that one over 20 out front. What does this look like? Well, it, and, and notice that we could get this number 20 by doing 20 minus zero, right? The answer here would be, this is obviously an average value. So that is the average, this is the average rate that water fills the tank. And then remember when we did average value, I said the units of average value are always the same as um, the function that you're doing the average value of, right? So we would use the units for R of T. It would not just be liters here, because this is an average rate. It's a rate that should be liters per minute, right? So in liters per minute over the first 20 minutes. That's it for today. We'll look at a few more things like that on Wednesday to get ready to test on Thursday. Talk to you guys later. Two chains. Bye.